Hey everyone, I wanted to talk to you about a brand new film um, that's just come out onto streaming platforms and uh, on home release, and it's one of those films that, if you don't know about it, it could easily sneak underneath the radar, which would be uh, an absolute shame um, if it did, because this is a, a film that I think a lot of people should go and check out. It's called Home, and it stars Jake McLaughlin and Kathy Bates. Now, it's directed by Franca Potenti, and this is, to me, uh, what a great drama should be. Uh, Jake McLaughlin plays Marvin, a character who's been released from prison after 17 years. Now, I know a lot of the times when they make these movies, they kind of, they make these films where the, the protagonist is kind of a person that's gone to jail for either a, a relatively simple crime or didn't do the crime. Now, that's not the case for Marvin. Marvin actually killed an elderly woman. Um, so it's a, it's a very, very tragic case, but he was in a really bad place at the time, not using that as, a, as an excuse for his behaviour, but it does talk about that in the film. Now, he's committed this atrocious crime. He gets let out of prison and finds his mother, Bernadette, played by Kathy Bates, is very, very ill. Um, she's not coping very well at home to the point where she actually has a, a nurse played by um, Lil Rel Howery coming in to, to help her daily because she can't cope with life. Now, the worst side of this is the fact that Marvin's returned back to the area that he called home before all of this happened. So he's actually living not far away from uh, the, the woman where he killed the woman. As a result, her family are still there, and they don't want Marvin back, so they start causing trouble from the get-go. Marvin just wants to get on with his life, and um, by answering an, an ad for a wheelchair uh, for his mother, he ends up meeting Delta, played by Ailey Fran Ailing Francesco, who, of course, a lot of people would know was absolutely amazing uh, in the film The Nightingale, um, that came out here in Australia a few years ago. It was my favourite, uh, film of the year. It was a stunning film, and I feel that she was wronged by not winning more awards for it. She also appeared uh, in The Unforgivable, um, ironically enough, with Sandra Bullock, which, uh, actually has a very, very similar storyline, uh, to Home. Um, Delta's an interesting character, because she's, Working in a hospital, but she's technically a drug dealer. She sells drugs to a drug dealer to then sell on. So, I think that's one of the things I loved about this film, is there's so many characters in this film that potentially could be unlikable characters, but Franca Potenti kind of makes them likable in a sense. You, you like Delta, um, and of course this explores that relationship between Marvin and Delta. This is a man that she is supposed to hate, her family hates, um, but she's kind of intrigued by him. Um, it's also a story of redemption. Uh, Marvin really, really wants redemption. He is trying to make things right for his mum. He knows that him going to jail caused a lot of trouble for his mum. She talks about, at one point, about rocks being thrown at the house, the the word murderer being painted on the garage door. Um, she's had a tough life because of what her son's done, and now her son is trying to redeem himself. You've also, also got a very interesting character here played by Stephen Root. He's a, the local priest, uh, Father Browning, and he really reaches out to Marvin and, um, and tries to help him, and tries to help him back on his path to redemption, but you, you get a sense that both Bernadette and um, Marvin don't really want him around in their lives. But this is an interesting film because it doesn't do any of those Hollywood tropes that you expect. Um, this is a very natural film, um, and the performance by Jake McLaughlin really mirrors that. It's, it's a film where if Hollywood made this film, you would expect that it would be all out there with um, rede with revenge and everything like that. And that's not what this movie is about. This movie is about a prisoner trying to, to fit back into society again. Um, there's a beautiful scene in here where you find out that he's never watched Game of Thrones. 
Uh, he's never watched The Walking Dead or The Bachelor. He doesn't know any of those things because um, he, he's been away from society for so long. There's also some beautiful scenes between Jake McLaughlin and Kathy Bates. Um, and Kathy Bates plays Bernadette really well as well. She is playing a mother who has to try and find forgiveness for her son. And that's not easy because of the life that his actions have, have forced her to live. Um, but an absolutely fantastic film. Um, I, I recommend Home to a lot of people out there who love serious films. I'm going to give this one 4 out of 5, and I think you should really go and check it out if you like kind of down-to-earth, realistic films, um, and especially a film that that shows us as a society how we should be living at the moment with people who are asking for redemption. Um, great film. Go and check out Home, 4 out of 5 for me.